As you saw in the first video, the new question editor allows you to easily create true or false, multiple choice, written response, and short answer questions. The original question types, however, are still available in the older editor. These other question types are fill in the blanks, matching, ordering, arithmetic, and multi-short answer. For all these original question types, there are some basic settings in common. Entering a title, if you wish, for your own labeling purposes. Students cannot see these titles. Enter the points value. Choosing a difficulty level isn't necessary as, again, it's for the teacher's labeling purposes. There's an option to add an image and an image description. In most cases, you add question text. And the option to add a hint or feedback for the whole question is at the bottom of the page. To create a fill in the blanks question, first select fill in the blanks. Enter your basic settings, write your sentence with the blanks by entering your sentence text and blank text into the text editor boxes. You can add new text and blank fields as needed for all the blanks in the sentence or paragraph. Note that the teacher needs to review the responses because it will only score as correct if it's exactly the same as the blank response. Matching. After selecting matching and completing the basic settings, select how you want the question to be graded. There are three grading choices. First, equally weighted, meaning that if you have 10 matches and 10 marks, each match statement is worth a point. Second, all or nothing, meaning that all matches must be done correctly to get any marks. For example, three matches worth five marks, and if you get any wrong, the mark is zero. Third, right minus wrong. So if there are 10 statements and the student gets eight right and two wrong, 8 minus 2 equals 6, so the student would get 6 out of 10. Add your choices and their matches in the text editor boxes, entering each term in a separate choice text box, and then entering each definition in a separate matches text box. The matches will be randomized and this question will self-score. Ordering works much like the matching option. Other than the settings these questions have in common, you must indicate the correct order of the items entered into the value column and you can give feedback for each item. Arithmetic questions involve adding variables and parameters. Watch this video for a demonstration on how to create math questions. Although you can still use the multi short answer question option, it is no longer needed because you can create one in the new short answer question editor as it allows for single and multi short answer questions. Hope this helps you understand the original question options in the quizzes tool.